Welcome to Bistro X. I'm Tom Gray, the executive chef and partner here at Bistro X. We have been here since 1999. We're uh, almost 13 years old, serving locally sourced ingredients, sustainable, healthful, wholesome foods uh, for, for 13 years now. We uh, have many wonderful farm partners. We're, we're located in historic San Marco. We are a California Mediterranean inspired restaurant. We do everything in-house. It's, uh, and, and so today I'm going to show you uh, a recipe highlighting some of our seasonal ingredients. Um, some local seafood, a few items from our, our, our farm, our local farm partner that we've been working with for exclusively with her for roughly 13 years. Uh, but we have many farm partners that, that we work with. Uh, the citrus that we're using comes in from Ocala, a great family, uh, Reed's Citrus, but we also work with Black Hog Farms. Even our, our mushrooms are hand forged for us uh, on, on the West Coast. We don't have a great mushroom source here in in Florida, but a lot of these sources are folks that I've worked with for many years from my time cooking in Napa Valley to then coming back to Jacksonville, to my hometown, to open, open Bistro X. So we love highlighting all these unique ingredients and bringing them to the table. We, uh, we love being a resource for our guests that know when they're looking for something unique or, or a trusted source that we're really somebody that they can, can turn to and be, be comfortable with uh, knowing that they're having good, wholesome foods. So here we have some uh, locally grown arugula. This is all, comes in from Twin Bridges. So it uh, definitely, you can see, this isn't what you see in the grocery store, that, that, that little teardrop arugula, which also has flavor. This is flavor packed. It has lots of great peppery flavor notes. We love this. Our red bliss potatoes, these are in from Hastings. We're going to steam them, and then we smash them with a little bit of uh, fresh goat cheese, some chives, a little bit of salt and pepper. You don't really need to add any butter or cream to the dish. The goat cheese is naturally low in fat, so this is a great way to have a dish that doesn't have a lot of hidden fat. It's not high in sodium. There's a little bit of salt here. We're going to season our fish with a little bit of salt, but we actually don't uh, use salt in the sauce at all because we're using citrus. This is a locally caught mahi. We also have a little bit of fine diced shallots. Then we have our citrus. Um, this dish, what I started to talk about, the fact that this doesn't have a lot of salt, it doesn't need it. If you think about your flavors when you're putting a dish together um, and you want that um, acid or uh, if you have a, you know, a high fat, something really rich, well then when we try to balance it out with a little bit of acid, this dish, part of this I learned through trial and error, where you're taught to uh, literally put salt in everything. Everything needs to be seasoned with salt. Well, I realized as I was doing that, that the uh, citrus vinaigrettes that we were making, we spent a lot of time trying to rebalance flavors. If you put salt in, well, salt, salt works against acid. A really great citrus is high in acid. So just th again, through trial and error, I, I finally figured out after a few years, well, just quit putting the salt in it. And we stopped putting salt in our citrus vinaigrettes and all of a sudden they taste great. So we have our reach citrus. We'll just juice this citrus. And we call this a vinaigrette because it follows the principles of a vinaigrette, which is acid and oil, but it becomes a really nice sauce because we use this fresh squeezed juice and a, a nice extra virgin olive oil. If you taste freshly squeezed juice that you drink in the morning, and then you taste it next to a glass of uh, juice from concentrate, it tastes like night and day. That concentrate has had a tremendous amount of heat applied to it. With that heat, all the high flavor notes go away, the flavonoids disappear. So taking that little bit of knowledge, we realized also to stop cooking citrus. This sauce is as simple as the juice that we just juiced with our little bit of extra virgin olive oil. We'll add our uh, shallots to this, a little bit of chives, just a touch of freshly ground black pepper, and that's done. We'll, we'll stir it up, but that sauce is done. And then the fish, we have this beautiful piece of fish, and then again, we're going to treat it by doing very little to it. If you buy really great fish, there's really no reason to, to mask it with anything else. So we do our best to, to minimize what we put on the fish, let you really taste it, light, you know, season it to, to enhance it. So here we have our fish. One thing, if you just pat it dry, you want your fish to be nice and fresh, but if you pat it dry and then season it lightly, the, uh, that helps it get a better sear. Um, when the fish, oftentimes what you'll see from fish that's been frozen is that it's a little bit wet. Um, when you go to sear it, it's hard for it to sear and you don't get a really good uh, caramelization to it. So patting it dry will help 
we're going to use just a little bit of Wesson oil just so, so we don't stick. You do need high heat. And then you can actually finish this in the oven. I try to choose a pan that has a metal handle so it can go straight from the stove top into the oven to help it finish. So this is a medium high heat. Now you can see we got this nice caramelized top, which actually enhances the flavor. From here, I'll go ahead and put it in the oven and let it finish through. Here we have our mahi. It's nice golden brown. It's been about, um, roughly about four or five minutes in a 350 degree oven. Over here, we have our bowl. We uh, preheated this in the oven. We have our goat cheese smashed potatoes. The goat cheese it just it got nice and creamy in there. We leave the skins on. There's great nutrients in the skins, great flavor. So we leave, leave all that on. We have our sauce, which we're calling our citrus vinaigrette. Just uh, stir it up just so you get the uh, olive oil uh, evenly dispersed within it. And then just pour that right into that hot bowl. Put a little bit of our freshly chopped arugula. Just push it right into the potatoes. We don't need to do anything else to that. It has the, 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 the nice sauce underneath. We're going to put our hot fish right on top of that, which will help just sort of wilt that. And all those nice juices from the fish will go right into the, uh, the, the arugula. And we just top with a little bit of chives. We use a tremendous amount of fresh herbs. Again, sort of going back to some of that um, discussion where we don't need to add a lot of salts, a lot of fats, a lot of butter, a lot of cream. Instead, we use really great fresh ingredients. We use lots of fresh herbs, lots of citrus. Things that have impact have a lot of flavor, but they don't add all those uh, unnecessary things to your diet that you don't want. Or what often happens when people dine out is there's a lot of hidden fats or hidden salts. So we do our best to avoid using those because I don't want to put them in my body. So I don't want anybody else to put them in their body without uh, having, having that knowledge. Here we have our finished mahi with goat cheese mashed potatoes, arugula, and citrus vinaigrette.